Around the world, scientists and entrepreneurs are finding promising new ways to remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and ocean in order to curb the effects of climate change. Why? To avoid the worst effects of climate change, it won't be enough just to reduce emissions. We'll also need to permanently remove huge amounts of CO2 already in the atmosphere and oceans. 5 to 10 billion tons per year by 2050. While we have some ways to remove carbon, such as reforestation and soil carbon sequestration, these solutions are unlikely to scale to the size of the problem. We need a gigaton scale portfolio of permanent carbon removal solutions. Luckily, new approaches like kelp forests, bio-oil injection, and direct air capture are just a few of the exciting innovations underway. But so far, they've all faced the same problem. They've had no customers. New technologies like solar panels, hard drives, and DNA sequencing tend to be expensive at the start, but costs come down over time as they scale. Carbon removal is at the beginning of a similar trajectory, and because it's expensive today, most companies would rather buy low-cost alternatives. The problem is, without customers, these technologies can't scale to reduce their costs. Not only that, but investors don't want to invest in companies if it's unclear that anybody will buy what they're selling. So without customers and investment, the carbon removal ecosystem has been a bit stuck. Frontier is a new initiative planning to spend a billion dollars buying carbon removal over the next nine years. It's a simple idea. By guaranteeing future demand for these technologies now, we hope to help them scale up and get cheaper faster. There's actually lots of capital, there's lots of excitement and interest in climate, there's lots of people who want to work on it, but there's not a lot of buyers out there actually willing to put down the money to say, okay, go put the carbon underground. We've seen this cycle before. In the mid-2000s, poorer countries lacked access to the pneumococcal vaccine. Pharma companies weren't motivated to spend the resources developing the vaccine because they were unsure there'd be enough demand to recoup their costs. In 2009, governments and philanthropists pledged to spend $1.5 billion to subsidize the purchase of the pneumococcal vaccine if the pharmaceutical companies could produce it at low enough cost. Hundreds of millions of vaccine doses were purchased and distributed throughout the world, accelerating the vaccine rollout by five years, saving an estimated 700,000 lives. This model, guaranteeing demand to accelerate the development of a new product, is called an Advanced Market Commitment, or an AMC. The idea is to send a signal to researchers, entrepreneurs, and investors that there will be a big market for their technologies. In other words, start building. AMCs work for vaccines, and we think they can work for carbon removal too. Here's how Frontier works. Buyers decide how much they want to spend on carbon removal and pool their commitments through Frontier. Frontier's team of technical and commercial experts find and vet suppliers to identify the most promising technologies and then facilitate purchases between buyers and suppliers, either upfront or through offtake agreements. Once we have a guaranteed buyer, then we can secure the financing to build our next plant, we can grow our team and attract the investment that we need to scale. Finally, as carbon removal is delivered, suppliers are paid and tons of carbon removal are passed back to buyers. Over the next nine years, Frontier's members will spend nearly $1 billion buying permanent carbon removal. On the one hand, it's a lot of money, around 30 times what's been spent to date. On the other hand, it's less than 1% of what we need to spend every year by 2050. So there's a long way to go. And our hope is that more buyers will join Frontier in the months and years ahead. But our message to the carbon removal world today is loud and clear. Build and we will buy.